Hello everyone, I'm back again. Uh, the setting is quite rainy. I don't know if you can hear the rain through the microphone, which you probably can, but this video is going to be about blaming yourself. So in the sense of taking consideration, that's today's message. Take accountability, take consideration. When is it going to be the time that you stop blaming everybody else? And you start blaming you. So many people go about life and in a way of disguising their, you know, their problems, their internal problems, they blame others for things that they didn't do. You know what I'm saying? And when I say they didn't do, I'm talking about the other person, right? They blame everybody but themselves, I don't know what name you give these people. There's a, there may be a certain name for these type of people, but I guess you can use the word narcissist. All about themselves. Um, you know, never, never looking at it through a different lens, but their own. Living life like this is very... It's very... You know, it's a one-way street. It's not a two-way street. Many people are like this, you know? A lot of people use it as a coping mechanism, blaming others instead of themselves because they don't want to feel the guilt of themselves on their shoulders because, you know, it's a cycle. They've done it so much that it's just a cycle at this point. They blame everybody but themselves. And when you blame somebody for something that you've done in a sense of, you know, Internal, right? This doesn't have to be very drastic or anything, but many problems, many external problems that are, you know, pushed out to somebody or in an argumentative sense, many of those problems are internal problems. So most of our external problems are not external problems, they're internal problems, internal struggles within ourselves. That's the root of all problems is the internal, not the external. Because how you react to something how you react to something that is said to you is a mirror of how you are inside, within, and in spirit. Because everything is a reflection of itself, you know? The way you speak about yourself will be reflected in nature, will be reflected in your physical world. The way you speak of others, vice versa, everything is the same, everything is a mirror, you know? When you look at nature, make sure that you see a part of yourself. Because just as you are human, you are also the rain, the wind, the flowers, the trees, the bees, anything, everything in nature. Just as I see you, you see me, and I see me and you. Was that a tongue twister? I don't know. Kind of sounded like it. That's why I kind of caught myself on that. But I am you, you are me. Simple as that, you know? I can learn from you just as much as you can learn from me. You know? arguments and fights and discussions should never be a thing of wanting to win but a thing of wanting to learn from you are supposed to learn in arguments you are supposed to take apart yourself and see why this person is feeling this certain way towards you what have you done wrong within yourself or to this person that you can learn from to not do it again many people struggle with that everybody struggles with that I myself struggle with it, you know? You have to learn from these things because everybody is a teacher to you just as much as you are a teacher to them. Put the ego down and learn from everybody. It's okay to learn from somebody, you know? Maybe you might not want to learn from this person or this individual because of their background, their gender, their race, whatever it is, man. People are just... Like, what? what's the point of all that? Why you got to look at all that just to, you know, learn something from me or learn something from anybody, you know? We're human. The way I am, the way I speak, the way I, you know, present myself, where I'm from, that should not matter when it comes to knowledge because knowledge is limitless and knowledge is power. The more you know, the more you will be, the more you will become always make sure that you consume knowledge in any way shape or form and you will be very much free free
from any liberations that are holding you down. I hope I use the right word for that. If I didn't, let's just say shackles that are, you know, holding you, holding you down instead. Let's just say it like that. But um, yeah. Take accountability within yourself. Like I said in the beginning of the video, learn to say, you know, okay, take a step back and learn to say it's my fault. What have I done wrong? You know, and it doesn't have to be anything major. Understand when I tell you this, it does not have to be anything major. It can be a simple discussion, right? It can be a simple discussion. Obviously, in an argument, there's two sides. There's the one that wants to win and there's the one that doesn't care. Or there's the one that wants to win and the one that wants to win and the one that wants to win and the one that wants to fix things. <laughs> it's it's. It's crazy like that, you know, because everybody's so different than from the other person, you know, everybody you encounter is going to be a different person, a different version of yourself. It's quite it's quite beautiful. It's quite beautiful and fascinating. It's like a big spider web. I mean, we are all a part of a big spider web. We're all connected. Kind of like the Internet, but human beings were the first, you know, version of the Internet. If you can look at it like that, if that makes sense. But yeah, choose to be the one that wants to learn from, you know, the argument, the discussion. Choose to be the one that wants to learn from it and the one that wants to heal from it and grow from it. Because if we come together as human beings and understand that there is no better, there is no worse, there is only a unity there is a one there is no better there's no worse we are all the same we all have the same struggles maybe our struggles are different from another but at the root of everything we all struggle the same way internally you know so it's raining a lot damn it just started raining a lot but the grind don't stop the message has to get out there it's raining a lot is it yeah it, it's getting bad but yes, choose peace. Always choose peace. And if somebody thinks or tries to make you feel like choosing peace is a weak way of being, that is the only way of being. Peace is the only way of being human. It's just the only way of being spirit. Animals choose peace. Even though they fight each other or they kill each other, there's still peace in that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not. But if somebody does, you know, if, if you do, you do, I guess. I'm not going to try to explain that because I'm not going to lie. Myself kind of just was rambling and just going with the flow. So I don't kind of know what that means, but there's peace in everything. You know, that is the origin of everything is peace and love. So just take that as it is. The calm before the storm. You know, there's peace after the hurricane. There's peace after the storm. Look at it as a chance of rebuilding. That is what everything is when you discuss with somebody. That's my mom. She was waving at me. But when you discuss with somebody, when you argue with somebody, look at it as a chance of rebuilding. Look at it as a storm that rolled in. Now, the storm is going to take what it needs to take, you know. But after that, what are you left with? You're left with a, a revival. You know, a new chance to become a better version of yourself, a better person to this other person, but most importantly, a better person to yourself, because self-love is the root of all. Love yourself before you love another. Simple. It's very, very simple, but so complex in the sense of doing the action, you know, doing the work is always harder than saying it always harder than saying it you have to prove to yourself and then eventually prove to the other person that you are worthy but first prove to yourself that you are worthy nobody in this world will ever come before you except your kids i guess if you have kids those come before you i guess <laughs> yeah because that your kids are you so you know yeah sorry for 
the derailing it and just saying, you know, random stuff like that. But that's just my brain. ADHD. I hope I hope you guys have been doing good. You know, I hope y'all been great. I hope most importantly that you know you've been loving yourself and taking care of yourself. And also that you can see me right in the frame. Hopefully I look good, you know. I want in the frame, I hope. Maybe step back some, maybe step forward. I can't see myself because I'm covering my camera with some with some uh fabric so that it doesn't get it wet. Whatever, I'll have faith guide me. But yes, my people, I hope everything's been going well for you. And always remember that. Let's refrain from using the word argument, okay? Because there's no such thing, well, there is arguments, you know, in, the, in a dictionary, the word argument is a thing, but let's refrain from using that word. Let's just use discussion. Because every argument is a discussion. You know, a discussion between two parties, two souls, two beings, two, two whatever. It's a couple or it could be more than that, you know. But for the most part, it's usually always a couple, a couple meaning two. Refrain from that word. Just discuss, you know, it's a discussion. It's a discussion between two. What can I do better? What can you do better? What can I learn from you? What can you learn from me? You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful very very beautiful thing you gotta learn to find beauty in the struggle definitely learn to find it in all things because it is in all things it is the root of all things i hope you guys been liking these videos i definitely appreciate all the support it means a lot to me it means a lot to me um thank you for all the comments it means the world to me Everything, all this. I love doing all this. I love talking to to a camera. <laughs> I love talking to people. You know, I love talking to you guys, especially just, you know, speaking to you, but also speaking to myself. That is the reason I make these videos because I can learn from these videos. You know, I can learn from all this stuff, and you guys can as well. And I and that means the, that means the world to me, knowing that my voice is touching a bunch of other people and. Thank you for that. I deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate it. But this video wasn't so long, not so long, but the moral of it, as we said before, um, damn. Yes. Um, choose, you know, don't be so quick to blame another, but blame yourself. Don't be so quick to blame another, blame yourself instead. You can learn from this philosophy. You can learn from this way of living. When you choose to aim the gun at yourself before you aim it at another. You know what I'm saying? Aim it at you before you go and aim it at somebody else. It's like that one philosophy. When you point a finger, you got three pointed back at you. It's the same way. Before you, before you, you know, put that gun on somebody, make sure you check yourself first. Because the problem can be you. The, pro the root of all these problems that you're going through, the root of everything that you go through is always going to be you. The way you put effort into this world, especially yourselves, if you do the work yourself, it will translate into your reality. Understand that, understand that. Do the work within and watch it translate without. I'm working on it. I can't say I'm perfect at it, but I'm working on it. And I've been working on it. I can do better and I know I can do better. If you're working on it, congratulations. You're doing everything you need to do and your reality will be yours. Just give it some time. Everything you dream of will be yours. You know, say it to yourself. Everything I dream of will be mine. Say it to yourself. Say it out loud. Say it within. Manifest it. Claim it. Bring it. And just, you know, just own it. You know what I'm saying? Because everything can be yours. You just have to put the work. Put the work, put the work, put the work. Put the work. Who knows? Maybe in a couple years, this stuff actually worked out for me. And I can help so many people. I've helped so many people. We're speaking in a future sense, you know. 
speak in the future sense. In five years, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how many people I've helped. But I hope the number one person was myself. And, of course, second place. Sorry. <laughs> but I told y'all, put yourself first, you know? It's not a thing of ego, but it's a thing of self. Because once you put yourself first and you do all the work you need to do within yourself and have yourself completely perfect to where you want to be, then you can ultimately help everybody you want to help. Or you can be like me and help yourself and others in the process. And you, that way, we grow together. So we are all growing together. You're watching this video. I am growing with you. You are growing with me. And watch us grow together. Because I believe in you, but you need to believe in yourself. That comes first. That will always come first. And do the work. Do the work. Believe in yourself. But as always, um, the sun has just risen. Hope you have a good day, a good experience. If the night has just fallen, hope you have a good night, some good dreams. I hope your day went well, you know. Hope you did what you had to do to become the next version of you. As always, it's been Prenti, it's been me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything and every everything and anything. Sorry about that. This is one of my shirts if you want to see. You can't really see it, but... Yeah. Ah, whatever. You can't see it. it. It is what it is. It's not that. It's not that important. But um, yeah. As always, um, I love you guys. Sorry for the awkward uh, silence. But yeah, sorry if I've been moving awkward too. I don't know what to do. I'm just standing here in the middle of nothing. I can't like in my other video. I was sitting on you know, I was sitting on something. But now I'm just standing. I'm just just got my hands everywhere. I don't know what to do. But so I just kept it in the pocket most of the time. But yeah, I'll leave y'all with that. If you want to, you know, because I'm going to be dropping a shirt soon. If you're interested, I'll leave the link down below so you can subscribe to my website and get notified when that, when that happens. If you want to, don't feel forced. Do not feel forced. I was just putting it out there. Um, but thank you so much. As always, always and forever. I love y'all. Thank you.